Hey Tony, it's Saturday morning. Um, the reason I sent you a message earlier today, but the reason why I'm making this video on Saturday is because it's been a, been a rough week for us. Um, first off, to answer your question of the week, Tony, I'm not sure. I think we're just at the basic level, but I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Um, so the reason why this is going to be a delayed video, the reason why I'm doing it on my computer instead of anything else. Is because uh, so we had a really 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 hard week. Um, our one of our pets, Autumn, our cute little guinea pig, Autumn, uh, passed away on Wednesday, and it's been hard. It's it's been a hard week. Um, she got she had a cyst that burst. It got really um, really infected. Uh, had a 107 degree fever, and uh, we took her to the vet, and the vet was like, I mean, we can't stop the neurological damage so what do you think and we we want her to not suffer so um, we put her down um, it was hard it's been it's been a hard couple days um, autumn was Taylor's favorite and it's just it's never good it's never easy it's never fun um, but because of that it's so many things just kind of got uprooted this week, and it's we miss her. I mean, she was just a cute little mean little pig. She would always bully uh, Willow the baby, so it was it's been challenging. Um, otherwise, like that was the that was the big stuff this week. Um, other than that, not a whole lot happened. Um, I, Ended up uh, going to work several days, <laughs> every day, uh, just kind of went shopping. But that was the big news this week, and it wasn't good. And it was just a really, really hard, hard time. Um, that being said, for the weekend, it's going to be, we're actually under a hurricane watch, which isn't isn't very common in Massachusetts. Uh Hurricane Henri, yeah, I pronounced it right, but Henri is going to be making landfall in, like, southern New England. When we're supposed to get, like, flooding rains here, it's going to hit, it's going to hit the eastern side of the state a little bit more um, than us here in the west, but we're still going to get just slammed with rain. <laughs> like, I think uh, I was reading, like, a National Weather Service today, and it's expected to be in certain areas life-threatening rain and we've had so much rain this year like there's there's been so much flooding in a lot of areas like uh by the connecticut river just because we've had so much rain i mean like when you guys were here it rained the entire weekend almost like i think it rained a little bit on the friday oh well, I, think, I think the thursday was the, was the dry day um it rained a little bit on friday we were in boston on saturday and sunday we had a lot of rain on Sunday. It just poured most of the day with thunderstorms. But <clears throat> that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out this weekend. Uh, I brought my computer home like I usually do on weekends, but I'm not entirely expecting that to, to go back into the office on Monday. I really think it's going to be – I think the power is probably going to be out. I think the power grids are going to be disaster in East Hartford. Um, and then it's just – the process of well, okay, let's we gotta get our we gotta get the work done. Uh, we're on a generator here, so it's not a big deal. But that's kind of what I'm expecting is gonna happen. I don't know for sure, but we'll see. And then uh, tomorrow night I get to watch the Browns play more football, which I'm looking forward to. It's still just preseason, but it's still football, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, today we have Taylor's best friend Amelia is gonna be coming in with uh, with her two kids and gonna be visiting with us all day, which we're really looking forward to that because we haven't seen them in a little while. And I'm probably going to take them rock climbing, I think is the current plan. So we'll see what happens there. Um, otherwise, like I said, the, the big issue this week was Autumn. And she was just cute, cute little thing. And we all process that grief in different ways. Um, I kind of dove myself into work and into sports, just watching it. Uh, Taylor threw herself into art. She made a really, we received like a little orb guinea pig from um, our friend Sky, 
it was like last year or something. And so Taylor just dove into it to try and paint it to make it look like autumn. And it really does. Like, it's really cute, and she does a great job on it. Uh, Jay ended up making a really beautiful TikTok in memory of autumn. And Justice just kind of did his thing. Uh, he dove into work similar to me. And it was hard. Um, it's going to be hard. There there were some rough days this week. Last night was actually a pretty it was a pretty good night all in all. We had a bunch of friends over to play masks. Um, so we had a really good time there. <laughs> Unfortunately, Taylor, Jay, and I went through, I think, two big bottles of wine. So uh, we're, we're feeling a bit today because <laughs> we can't do this like we used to back, it, back in undergrad. Um, but we had fun last night. We had a really great mask session that I think really was probably the best one we've ever had. And it was really good. Uh, really, like, we have a lot of great layered stories going on there. And we really kind of, in an interesting way, took on grief in this last in this last session. Because we, uh, so we were attacked by a hijack, by Captain Hijack, who's a, a pirate of, a pirate of, of that interstate. Which is just as ridiculous as it sounds. It was pretty fun. But... In us trying to stop them, we created a lot of collateral damage that resulted in um, several civilian civilian casualties, both death and it, injuries. So we actually had an interesting take on what it means to be a superhero. It was actually similar in a way to um, some of the stuff they did in uh, Invincible when uh, the Flaxons attack, kind of the way they, they took that on. And so, like, the fact that they caused a lot of collateral damage, and I thought it was a really good session. But otherwise, it's going to be hard going forward. Um, there's no way around that. But all we can hope for is that there'll be more good days than bad. So, Tony, my question for you is, what is the best mask session you've ever been involved in? Tony, I'll see you on Monday. Later, bro.